this. He could get over that fissure if it were to block him, uh, but not going to be the case. They're not going to try to even go for it at all, as we'll now have the Viper starting to chase. Mantis was thinking about making his way up, trying to maybe distract Yoki just a little bit here in the bottom lane. We're going to have some damage done to the Nature's Prophet, enough to chop him down. Stallcat on the Centaur getting a kill there after... Just picking up his Tranquil Boots, and now up top we've got a Fisher trying to blink out his art style. He will evade a little bit of the, uh, yeah. Very low, just respawn, about to go down again, and they will get him to Fisher. It's a double kill for equal. Dread now forced to hightail it out of there, and suddenly it was 3-3. Now it's 5-3 in favor of X. And Mantis getting another uh, assist there, 1-0 and 4, and now PA will fall behind the tower. after. Forward art style will get it. This hero, incredibly hard to bring down when you're out of mana. You got no magic right now. So he's got to back now. Zubas coming in with another stun. Art style just tanking up the tower, but there's going to be a double edge and he's going to go down easy. But Stallcat taking his own damage from the double edge to roll out. Mew to bring down. And now Zubas, the tower, is going to get him. So it looks like it's a bit do that. Or no phase boots. And now art style jumped over. He will find equal, equal down. So the Earthshaker, the disrupting team fight hero here for x has fallen, and now Yoki is going to go in off of that. He's looking for a two-man RP if he can find it, but not the case so far. Wadafaka going to live for a pretty long time, but not a very long time. Yoki will get to that, so they will delay out that relic a little bit more, bringing her down to 2,800, so it needs about a thousand gold there. Maybe her team can find her some towers, but as we know, towers not worth quite as much in 6.82, so they don't help out. And there's that deny, big deny from Star. Gonna get involved right now. Yoki with a nice RP skewer onto three, but there's the Echo Salam coming out from Equal, and it will be a double kill for the Viper. Four down on HR. Make it five because Immune died to start it off, and now make it six because he dies again. A triple. this man. Reeves. This guy. He knows what's up. Until we fall in, looks like the game is looking to Radiant's try to come to a close. But again, you gotta be very, very cautious. It's still has always been a game of mistakes, but now especially in the comeback meta, it is very much a game of who makes the least mistakes, as you can give up a lot, and very, very often we'll see a game go much like this, and then suddenly be equilibrium at 50 minutes. <laughs> Which is so much fun, I love it. the range racks now it's very low but Aga Illusion will slice Dyer's it down slicing back. and dicing there melee barracks the next target here and of course all the tier Radiant's 2's have been down for a while the tier 3 up top is pretty injured as well nether toxin starting to go into effect now throwing out the zoning viper strikes and I mean mm -hmm. HR gonna stick with it of course but more than likely it's probably going to be X-Game taking the win here. They don't want last place, man. They don't want to be last place in Star Ladder Season 10. At least in the European scene. Because that's where they are now, man. 3 and 11 with those 14 games played. Cleave is 3 and 10. And Album Sheet is 4 and 10. So it's possible that they uh, could not be last. Or there could be a big tie for last, including those just mentioned teams and even Hellraisers as well. So... We'll see. It's not the most glamorous title to have, but it's the only title pretty much up for grabs today is Cool Little Kid Last Boys. Immune! Dropping a Mystic Flare, very defensive there. And then uh, Skyrath will eventually fall. Wrath of Nature, <laughs> I think it was. No, I was just kidding. Yurbik has the, the Rage. Wrath of Nature was just Nature's Prophet's own. As Equal will fall, he's brought down there, but the middle racks have fallen, and now we go back up top. Mantis and Reeves working on that. So a concoction gonna go out. The PA even killed him through that regen. Doesn't look like it quite. He's got the ghost under regening up. The net has went out as well. Now Art Sal gonna start focusing him again. Stallcat jumps in. A little bit of miscommunication between Mantis and Stallcat. Sheepus goes out and they will chomp him down. The PA falls. Tier 3 tower has fallen as well. And this should be the Mega Creeks. This should be the game here in 41 minutes. And uh, looks like we'll get into the next game pretty soon as Star Ladder gives you, what, an hour and 15 minutes between the games generally. So with the now longer game times, it's uh, it's pretty tight, so there won't be much downtime in between the two of them. But uh, it, was, it was a pretty solid game. We can look back at the graphs and just see, like, up until the 20 minutes, like, this game was next. We saw like four items pop the neck, the Crimson Guard, and the Blink Dagger, and the Blink Dagger on the Earthshaker as well. And X game from that point on just boom, it's an exponential graph. And 
network and experience growth uh, from the 20 minute point onward. And, well, it's well played by both teams, but X Game in the end, they're the ones that uh, deserve it a little bit more here. It's, I guess they've got more on the line, right? They don't want the title of last place. So, they get it here. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the cast here. It's a little early, we haven't seen the full screen yet, but the GG's coming out. So, of course, as always, these guys will be on the summit for having me on. And for those of you that don't know me, you can see there on the upper right hand corner, uh, at Kili Umbrella. You can follow me there on Twitter or on Twitch. I'll be talking in the Twitch chat in the downtime. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the game. X game with the victory in this best of one over Hellraisers. Up next, well, there's your score screen. Look at it. That look at the schedule. All right, schedule. We've got uh, HR, so we'll see how Razors won some more, versus Cleave as the battle for not last place continues here on twitch.tv slash DotaStarLadder underscore EN. We'll be back. to have a little bit of an invade trying to find that intel they will find Dubas. he's got the burrow strike onto the wisp right now wisp in danger of giving up that first blood will give up the first blood as art style comes in with the stop and it's the, the wisp does very well with that item here we go trying to get that new speed trying to pull the distance it's a two second stun here on the yoki and it should be enough to easily bring him down they will even throw out the duel and they will get the duel victory so now 10 damage over to stress Legion. uh dreddo could be in some trouble as well now he will be able to get out Six CS, ten denies. That's the leader, Yoki. They've killed him twice. He's got one assist. We'll switch to the net worth where he also is the leader. 5,500 gold there. Nature's profit, 4,100. So it's the two cores dominating the farm game and the net worth right now. Pretty much exploding. They're relocating the bottom lane actually as they look to push into the tower and die here. Nature's pocket will go down. They're going to look for more. The big stun. Dubas is getting off the epicenter and he will get it off. Gaul gonna looks like he dodges a little bit at giving the Phantasm off, and it's not good enough. Dubas gets off a great alternate, but just kill anybody, and it's a triple kill for how. There's no Legion's coming in and trying to find this duel. Will duel it. That's 430. Nicely done. Dubas, no does name. Maybe a little too ambitious. No, he's got the backup. Yoki and Dread coming in. The Rays will bring down the Legion, so. Shadow Fiends are connected to him better. One more attack should be enough to bring down the Wisp, and now he looks over to Dex. And look at this. He's just chunking away, but we gotta move over to the other team fight. Timbersaw and. The one hero really, really stopping the push. Big, big base damage item. The Monkey King bar coming out now. Expecting Yoki to maybe go for a butterfly They find it from the Wisp. They will bring it down the No, the swap out will not get the dual victory. It's actually a dual loss, which they don't take a counter of. Convenient for the Arcana purchasers. Arcana purchasers, whatever. Anyways, to the default, Rax as well being chopped down, just as how Razors maybe took a very, very devastating point in the mid lane in terms of giving up their lead. They strike right back with a, a slew of buybacks. They will take out the middle Rax, and now they go bottom, taking out the tier 3 here. Now the damage, the strong, strong right there. He has not died. He's beyond godlike right now, so maximum souls, maximum damage. Dubas almost goes down there in the stack form. They will find Takao again, no buyback, and that should seal the deal here. That should be the game for Hellraisers. They drop the first game of the day to X Game to get revenge uh, on the unsuspecting Cleave here as they take out two lanes of Rax, but Cleave not going to call it yet. This is a shit ton of tree ants. <laughs> Illusion. Do, 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 do. The pipes. The pipes of Pan. Tree ants march. They're weird, sort of goofy capes that I don't understand or contemplate. Like, what is that? Anyways, Roshan goes down and will be claimed up. Actually picked up by Art Style. They throw the Stampede and looking for a kickoff. Who do they find? They will find the CK right now. It's just Dubas here on the front lines thus far. No detection though. As he goes into the Sandstorm, Art Style blinking work for now on to Stress. Trying to kill Stress before he duels and won't even get the option to duel. But anyways, as he could have given up damage. How Kong now 
Also gonna go down, picked off, no buybacks. That, my friends, that is the game. And honestly, a ton of kills, but there was a big wall, so the game felt slow in the middle of the game, but of course, in terms of action, so not really much more we, we could ask for here. 30 to 25, we've got 55 kills in 41 minutes, and no buybacks. They're even being dragged into the fountain right now. Arxile is going in hard in his heart, and will be forced tapped out. They need to get out of here before they throw out the game. What are they doing? Yogi wants some more kills. The armor toggles could be enough to keep him alive, but the crits is not going to be the case. Do boss, ultra kill for Yogi. Fountain diving. Very nice. Very mannered, Hellraisers. But hey, I mean, it's not going to be going to keep hitting him until either the ref calls it, which doesn't exist in these ports, or the game is over. So, yes. No mercy. They're going in for more, guys. They want it. Bye, Wisp. There's the throne. So, that's the game here. Star Ladder Europe. Casting by myself, your helium net. Keely Umbrella on Twitter or Twitch. You can find it there in the upper right hand corner of your screen. I'd love to let you. Oh gosh. I'd love to know what you thought of the cast. Uh, any constructive criticism is fantastic, whether it be positive or negative. It's great all the way. Negative is actually better, because then I, I know I have areas to improve. Uh, but, anyways, Hellraisers will take the victory here. They go 1 1 for the day. There's your scoreboard, and again, shout-outs to both Starladder and Beyond the Summit for having me on, but quickly, we'll check out the schedule for the next game. It's uh, going to be Virtus Pro versus Album Sheet. Very, very important. Virtus Pro can qualify for the land, so they're going to need that win against Album Sheet. If they lose to Album Sheet, it's, I think, basically out of reach at that, at that point to qualify for the land, and of course, the biggest game of the day last, conveniently, Andre is one with the scheduling. Uh, Tinker vs. Virtus Pro, the game to look for for the day. Empire vs. Four Anchors should be pretty sick as well, but I don't think it has much bearing on anything. Uh, but either way, again, Helium on Twitter, Twitch, at Helium Brella, and uh, we'll be back, so sit tight, guys.